So one of the questions that I get a lot is what do you think about raw till four versus fully raw? So essentially we're talking about a 100% raw food diet versus a diet of mostly raw foods but then for dinner or after four o'clock you know or in the afternoon whatever you have some cooked food. Still vegan, still high carb but it's cooked. Okay what's the best raw till four versus fully raw? That is a ridiculous question because I mean if you found the value of raw foods to begin with if you think that it's valuable to be eating raw food even if you're on a raw till four diet you think it's valuable to eat raw until four o'clock so during the day you eat raw why do you eat raw well there's many reasons why we eat raw right I mean every animal in nature eats raw raw is more nutritious than cooked because when you cook the food you damage nutrients you damage proteins you essentially damage the food when you cook it in simple terms you also create certain toxins and I'm not gonna go into the details about what why raw food is better than cooked food but I'm sure you can all agree that yeah raw food is better than cooked but what happens at four o'clock does the laws of physics does nature just change at four o'clock and suddenly cooked food is not a problem anymore of course not I mean this I'm sure all of you are like that's not what I meant you know what's better what well that's the thing you know you got to realize that raw is of course better than cooked but I mean if you're eating raw nuts versus cooked potatoes you'll probably be better off with the cooked potatoes uh, what it's about is eating the most appropriate nutrition for our physiology and who knows what is the most appropriate you know nutrition we got to trust that nature figured this out already figured it out by eating whole foods all animals in nature are consuming whole foods in their natural form as they appear in nature so we trust that a raw food diet consisting of fruits predominantly is the appropriate for our physiology because that's the only thing that we can really eat in its natural state raw with relish without being uh, disgusted at it and without having to put a sauce or a dressing on it or process it first fruits is just appealing to us in its natural state so whether or not raw till four is good or fully raw is good the thing is you need to get your calories you need to get your nutrients and the best way to get that would ideally be a 100% raw diet consisting of high quality excellent sweet juicy ripe tropical fruits but if you can't get that well then you have to go to the next best thing which is probably gonna be like you know if you're not able to source quality fruit you gotta eat so I guess you'll have to eat potatoes or sweet potatoes or all those roots and tubers that have a nutrient composition quite similar to fruit but not just exactly the same and you have to cook it so there are some toxins created so it's it's not exactly the same as a as a fruit but it's pretty close so nutritionally speaking I would say that that's better than not eating at all unless it's a one-off kind of thing I mean you have to eat so if you're not able to consistently find good quality fruits well then you're probably better off it's probably more sustainable to eat a diet where you do include some cooked foods but you're getting your calories and you're getting your nutrients to the best of your ability anyway so what's the conclusion well it's pretty simple uh, raw till four is excellent until four o'clock and then it becomes sub excellent still pretty good though I mean I've done both in a way you know I've, I've had some cooked food in my diet and I've I've been fully raw most of the time and I do feel better when I'm eating completely raw 100% fruits but I do feel quite good as well including some sweet potatoes steamed potatoes whatever I do feel still quite good on that but not as good as with fruits so raw till four is definitely a compromise every time you have to cook something every time you're eating foods that are not really optimal for us you are compromising your health to what degree that's the question you know strictly speaking you know 100% raw definitely better raw till four compromise but you have to 
look at your situation and what's specific to your current situation. And if you're able to get those quality fruits, that's great. But if you're not, you have to eat something that will give you what you need. Some people might argue that you know, you'll still be better off eating low quality fruits than actually cooking high quality roots and tubers. That's up for discussion. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. It's difficult to say. I go by the way I feel and I definitely feel better eating a diet of potatoes and sweet potatoes and bananas than eating a diet of low quality papaya, low quality grapes, sour, citrus, uh, you know, that sort of thing. I, I, I don't want to compromise in that sense. But there's really no sensible argument for a raw till four so-called or a high raw diet if you're able to get the good fruit. As soon as you're taking steps away from whole, fresh, ripe, raw fruits, as soon as you're taking steps away and going towards processing foods, you are, you know, compromising your health. I mean, that's obvious, isn't it? Uh, but it's circumstantial. If I'm dying in the forest and there's no food, meat is probably gonna be the healthiest choice that I can consume at that point to live. But if I'm able to find better food, meat would be a really, really, really low, uh, bad option for my, my health. So it depends on circumstances, essentially, that's the answer. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting started with the raw food diet, you can uh, check out our free e-booklet on how to get started on our website, sweetnaturalliving.com. And until next time, make sure you eat high quality fruit if you want to succeed. Make sure you eat enough of it. And ideally, you'll be raw around the clock rather than raw till four. But circumstances, personal choice, it does play a role. See you around.